So we're going to start with the Netgear repeater. <clears throat> so I've set this to factory default settings. First thing you do is plug it in, turn it on, grab a laptop or a computer or anything that's connected to your network, uh, but that has a Wi-Fi Wi-Fi capability. Notice here I've got Google pulled up. Actually, just opening up any web browser, and then I'm going, this is on Windows 7, but the same concepts can be used in any operating system. You're going to click here, and notice I see all the different Wi-Fi signals that are within range. And here's my Netgear extender. I'm going to select that and hit connect. Now I factory reset this to default settings. So the default settings don't have a password, but when you do your configuration, it will. <clears throat> so now that it's connected, and I see that I'm connected to the Netgear extender. I want to go and select that this is a work network. And I'm going to hit close. And now on the back of the Netgear extender, it has your access settings, how to get onto this device and configure it. And you may not be able to see this on the video effectively, but on whatever device you purchase, it will be on there or it'll be in the instruction manuals. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go to HTTP and it says www.mywifiext.net and you select that and since you're connected to it and you're using that it's automatically routing it and it recognizes hey you want to get into our configuration page preferred language we're going to select English and continue There's going to be a little bit of a hurry up and wait as these things are running through their scripts to configure themselves. This is looking in the area and finding all uh, Wi-Fi signals that it can see. And then it's not looking at what the computer can see, it's looking at what it can see. And it's very likely that you'll get the same list that your computer could see. Here, here momentarily. All right, you'll see that we have these Wi-Fi signals. We're going to go ahead and select the AGMS office. Select continue. And then it has fills in the SSID, tells you what security type it's using, and then put in the passphrase. I'm going to go and enter that passphrase. My recommendation is for that to be an insanely secure password and don't forget it. Notice it filled that in. Use the same security and passphrase as uh, those for the existing network. I would recommend not naming your extender the same as your current wireless name because then you'll get really confused as to which one you're actually connected to. If you're within range of your Wi-Fi and your device is capable of Wi-Fi, you'd rather connect it directly to your Wi-Fi access point. This is specifically designed for if you have a Wi-Fi um, access point, you have Wi-Fi in your building, and you need to convert that into a wired connection for uh, terminals that only communicate over Ethernet. They don't have Wi-Fi cards in them. That's what this whole setup is designed for. So we're going to go ahead and hit continue. Okay, so getting closer to the 92%, we're almost, almost done. All right. So it's telling you that everything's complete. You are now one step away from completing the installation. All right. So it's saying file directory not found because now we're back to the HMS office. We're going to connect back to that HMS office extender, the one we just created. So we're connecting to Wi-Fi. We're actually connecting to this Wi-Fi. And we're just showing that now we have internet. We're actually getting the internet through the extender. Now I'm going to move the computer out of the way. So now if you have a terminal that only communicates over, over uh, ethernet cable, an ethernet cable is an eight pin 
cable. We're going to take this, extend it out, and we're going to connect to the back end of this net gear. And then we're going to connect to this terminal and its Ethernet port. And then we're going to grab the power for the terminal. And we're going to power it on. Give it a moment to boot, and we'll, we'll show that we have an internet connection to this terminal that is now technically mobile because we could take this terminal as long as this this Netgear extender. Notice it just DHCP'd, so it grabbed it grabbed its IP address from the DHCP server on your local area network. Everything's good to go. We're going to go ahead and hit menu six for communications, and then we're going to go to our LAN parameters, and we're going to ping Google, and ping is okay. So it's able to actually reach out to the outside internet and connect. And then watch as we disconnect the cable. Watch the screen and it's gonna show that it's lose check LAN cable. It recognizes that it's lost its internet connection.